growing up in Germany, we had history lessons, we learned about the Holocaust at school. But the thing is that it's always like you learn about the Nazis did these things or the Germans did that. And the connection that re is really missing is that no one ever tells you that these Nazis were our grandfathers. And the only thing I, heard, I had heard from my family was um, grandfather was in the SS, but when he found out how bad it was, uh, he deserted from the SS. And that was the official story that, that he got. That was the family story that was, uh, that was passed on. Um, and when we as a church started to, to go into this topic and we started to talk to each other and was like, well, what do you know about your family? What have they done? Um, many of us had stories like that of grandfather was not in the war, grandfather was just a cook, grandfather was just an electrician, things like that. And when you hear lots of those stories, you suddenly come up with the question, well, who did the atrocities then? if none of our grandfathers was it. And so we started to go to the official records, we started to go to the archives, and um, in one of the archives I found military documents about my grandfather. And yes, he was part of the SS, but not just that, he was part of an elite unit inside the SS that's called Leibstandarte Adolf Hitler. So the literal translation is uh, the personal guard of Adolf Hitler. Um, so your grandfather was the personal guard of yeah, one one of those. So it was a whole SS unit, and he was part of those. Um, wow. And the military records stated clearly that he had been in the Ukraine and he had been in one of the major battles in Russia. Um, now, and now do, do the records tell you whether he was in Eisenstadt's group or what? Not, I, I don't have historical proof of what he did there. I only know the units that he had been part of and these two battles that he was part of. Um, but then when I had found out that he had been in the Ukraine, I started reading books about the Holocaust in the Ukraine. And all the things you read are like, everyone who was there must have known what was going on or must have been part of it because there were no extermination camps in the Ukraine. Uh, they, they drove the Jews into the woods, uh, city by city, village by village. The Jews had to dig their own graves and trenches. They were shot person by person. And there's eyewitness reports that two days later the ground still moved because people tried to crawl out of these trenches again. And my grandfather was there at that time when this took place. How old were you when you found this out? Middle what of year was this? Mid-twenties, something like that. So you're like 26 now, so what, what year was this? <laughs> it, it was like when we started with the marches, like 2006, 2006 2007. 2007. So the, the official records and the things about the Ukraine, I found that out 2010, right before we went to the march in the Ukraine. So a few weeks later, I was in the Ukraine, I was at the places where my grandfather had been. Oh. Wow. Yeah, I remember that we were in. We were at Bobby R. and I, I went to Jutomir, but we were spread out to 18 different cities around the... Were you in Jutomir? No. Where did um, you go? I, I went to Odessa, Odessa. because uh, the unit my grandfather was in, I knew that they were down at the, at the sea somewhere. I didn't know exactly, but it was like the area around Odessa, and I wanted to be by my grandfather. So you felt compelled been. to go to the very places where yeah. your grandfather had destroyed. Yeah. And... Um, what happened there for a reason? What, I mean, I, I was in Jitomir, so I don't know what happened in, you, in Odessa. Um, we, we came together with a group of believers there. We came together with Holocaust survivors. They have a small private museum in Odessa. Um, what the Germans, together with the Ukrainians, did there was um, there the Jews were not shot. They were locked up in a barn, and the barn was set on fire. Um, and standing there, knowing that my grandfather had been there, I don't know at what time, I don't know if he was there when they did that, but in my heart I knew that he had been capable of doing things like that. Um, 
So for me, it was one of the first times when I really shared my story and I, I told the people I'm exactly at the place where my grandfather had been 70 years ago. Wow. Wow. And he, he came to murder and to destroy and to rape women and to kill Jews and everything. And the only thing I can do is I can stand here and with a broken heart and ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm.